I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> Uh, all right hi hi welcome to season eight yeah hell of an opener i know thank you in my defense you picked it (laughs) i did not pick it you gave me a choice doing that and i chose the more painful one because i know you guys thrive on our suffering Mm -hmm. so you know we saw Doolittle. Yeah, we did. Which I had not planned on seeing, so I just spoiled it for myself by watching other people's reviews already. Mm-hmm. Michael had not seen other people's reviews, but I was still... It, it's Rumors possible... had gone up on Twitter that I was like, okay, so I know what happened. At least I, some of the highlights I, of what happens in this. I, I, I had pretty much the exact... I I had expectations for exactly what I got, <laughs> and it was a slog. Yeah, it was. It wasn't even like a fun bad. No, it's it's lines that are delivered. They're dad jokes that are just not even funny as dad jokes. They're yeah, this movie's a fucking mess. Oh, it's just. It's it's kind of astonishing to watch because it really does feel like three different screenplays got smushed together, and it moves at such a weird clip. Yeah, the pacing's what? fucking bizarre. Um, uh, like just, like by the time you get used to one idea, suddenly like there's a voiceover that just cuts over what you have to assume is originally a much larger segment. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I mean you said they reshot a lot. I don't know much about that, but. It feels like if they cut out a bunch of the stupid fucking jokes that they had going left and right from all the different animals. Yeah, because they do that thing where like the the people are talking like somewhat like old, in their era of dialogue, and then the animals are all talking like in modern pop John culture. John Cena is just John Cena, and it just sounds. It are just, you understanding the words that are coming out of my bill? Um... I, other references, it's just tiresome, and I'm just, I am coming from a special place right now. Yes, please explain your journey today. To catch up for tomorrow's <laughs> filming of the worst and best of 2019, I realized that I had, while we had encountered plenty of things that I found to be really mediocre, or, you know uninteresting in the way that a lot of people thought, you know, they were really fucking great, like, um, uh, like The Lighthouse and Parasite, you know, they're good movies, though, they're not bad movies, no, no. so even though I didn't like them necessarily, I didn't hate them, I was just like, eh, it's not for me, it didn't click for me, so those don't belong on my worst list, I actually had a lot of gaps in my worst list. So today I decided to catch up. So while I was working on some stuff, I watched Rambo Last Blood, which is barely a Rambo movie. No, it's not. Um, and then and I then, helped. <laughs> and then Michael mentioned the Disney remakes from last year, which I'd totally forgotten. So I watched Aladdin, which was offensive and gratingly irritating and really joyless and just irritating and upsetting. And then I watched Dumbo, which was not as terrible, but still like just weirdly joyless and empty feeling for something that had so much going on. And then the Lion King remake, which was fine, I guess but just ultimately felt, at the end, I was like, okay, I mean, sure, I guess they did it. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was no, there was no real redeeming factor to it. It was, the, 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 it was visually lush and amazing and, you know, just overall not a very rewarding watch. Yeah, there weren't that many. Oh God, I want to. I just want to die. Bad movies last yeah. year, at least not ones that we saw. I mean, uh, there were a which couple might have been by design. <laughs> yeah, for me, Joker was one. Yeah, so especially. Fair. But there's something that comes from other people really, really enjoying something and reading into it. I really hate it 
when something is really fucking shallow and shitty and people terrible are. and people get fooled by good cinematography and music and like and, it's and also really annoying to argue with yeah i just i don't fucking care what any of you think you're wrong if you think joker is a good movie i think i ran into one of those comment commenters the other day who yeah. like every time you're like it's like uh, what are you talking about? Well, this happened in the movie, and this happened in the movie. It's like, okay, here's why all the things you just mentioned mean absolutely nothing yeah. in the grand scheme of things. Like, but then this stuff happens. Like, you're just listing things that happen. That doesn't yeah. automatically give them meaning. But, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just, ranting. Uh, yeah. A, a side thing too is that people were saying that it's an accurate depiction of mental illness, and I was like, what? Him getting beat up, or having a choking laugh, or having an imaginary girlfriend, like, are those accurate? Is that your day-to-day -day life, my friend? <laughs> Is that what you're going through? Is that how you feel you empathize with? Because, no, it's not. Um, but we can get into that but That's tomorrow. a tomorrow discussion. Spoilers yeah. for Joker, I guess, but <laughs> fuck it. If you haven't seen it by now and actually want to, uh, I would care, but I hate it. Go see the White Boy Sad Clown movie. Um, uh, but, anyway, we'll get into those more with the next video, but I'm sure you could tell right now how much we don't want to talk about Doolittle. <laughs> my voice should indicate just how fed up I was already with CG animals <laughs> by the time we got to this movie. And then getting into and this. And leading up to it, I was like, oh, what have I done to myself? And uh, so we went in. <sighs> and, and what yeah. can you even say? Look how low energy I am. I don't even have the energy to fucking hate this movie. It's just a waste. It's bad. It's boring. It's nothing lands. I laughed like six times throughout the movie, yeah. which was more than I expected. I'll give it that. But it's not a high bar. There's no consistency. There like, Again, this clearly went through several rewrites, and they just kind of picked parts of each one that they kind of liked. <sighs> And slept and then this like there you There's can't like even five writers some like yeah. like three or five writers and the like, thing yeah. is the writers are good. Yeah, but it's the, like, the writers have good track records. But it's like, there's some points you can't even tell who, like, the POV character is supposed to be. Because, like, it <laughs> opens up about, like, it, the story starts with a boy, and then the boy just kind of comes and I goes for the rest of the story. And I then, don't know if there is really a POV character. Like, like the boy may have been, like you said, in some version of the script. I think but, in a, like an early draft. Um, like this, this feels a remnant from an early draft. You know what? Let me let me just you know let me get into what I liked about the movie because it was not Robert Downey Jr. Sadly enough, RDJ has failed me, but I hope the money was worth it because I understand the industry. Okay, so there's a point where. Oh yeah, Jeff never popped back up. Um, oh, yeah. I uh, forgot about. You. There's yeah. a point where that was one funny part. All right. There's a squirrel gets accidentally shot by the kid, and that's, he takes him to Doolittle to get fixed up, and that's how he meets Doolittle. And um, he gets in there through the guidance of a wayward parrot, but there's a little girl who magically finds her way in somehow. Anyway, Are you sure, okay. Um, but he takes the squirrel in. When the squirrel gets uh, gets fixed up, and he, and he goes <gasps> and comes back to life. He has this little PTSD flashback of being <laughs> shot, and there's like a shot of his grave and like a mushroom cloud and stuff, oh, yeah. and it just does the close up. He says, "Revenge," <laughs> and that's a running joke throughout the movie that I actually enjoyed quite a bit. Although, sadly, the resolution of it was nothing. It was underwhelming and pointless, but it was a funny thing. It was it was great to watch a, a, a really intense squirrel just going like. I don't know why these people are all being friends with the person who tried to murder me, but like it's, it, it's 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 not even that funny. It's just funny for this movie. It's like, um, uh, I mean, I feel like I would have laughed more at that if I didn't see Doom Patrol do the same thing better. Oh, uh, I haven't seen Doom Patrol. yet. You would love Doom Patrol. Probably, I've heard, but I'll check that out. Without but, giving anything away. Yeah, that's the most I'll say about it. But I've it's been kind, it's kind of amazing. But okay, uh, so. <coughs> Uh, when they, when they gas Dr. Doolittle so they can, like, cut his hair and shit, and there's a mouse that pops out of his beard, and he's like, oh, hi, guys, and they're like, Arthur, where, wh how, how long, long have you been, been in there? And he said, depends, what year is it? <laughs> it's like, I'm like, okay. All right, that was a funny joke. All right, I, I chuckled at that. All right. Um, there's a point where RDG gets punched in the face by a gorilla. That was enjoyable because I just hated the movie already. 
Um, oh, wait. There's a point where a whale pops up out of the water <laughs> just and just goes, Hello! <laughs> and it cuts away and it cuts back and he's, like, Ooh! <laughs> So that was funny. I'm Harold. <laughs> yeah. No, Humphrey. Humphrey, that Humphrey, was it. Humphrey, the humpback whale. <sighs> There's a polar bear who's always cold because that makes sense. He's not in his cold environment. So instead of being warm where everywhere else, he's just constantly cold. <laughs> and that's his joke. And it comes into play a couple of times, and that's it. And it's um, played by John Cena, so he just says bro every now and again. Says bro a lot. Um, Let's see. And he makes friends uh, with Camille Nagiani Austria. There's, there's, there's that spoiler, man. Oh, sorry. They, they, <laughs> they, it's the resolution of their plot line that's totally not gonna be obvious. <laughs> um, but then <clears throat> there's a point near the end where you know the villain gets the thing and they seem defeated and he gathers everyone around and RDJ goes, "All right, we're finished." <laughs> and everyone's like, "What?" And John Cena bear goes, uh, is this a pep talk? Because it's a weird one. And I did laugh at that. That was good. <laughs> and then they get a new ship just given to them because their old ship got destroyed. So, you know, fuck stakes. They just got a new one. And they're uncovering things in the ship. And there's like, someone says something from under a, a, a sheet. And they pull it off. And there's just a guy in like stocks with like, he's he's prisoner. And he just goes, hi, I'm Jeff. And, <laughs> and then we never see yeah, Jeff again. Yeah, you never see Jeff again. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they've taken off from the coast at that point, they've left the dock. They find this guy, and he's never seen again. So, so that's interesting. Which, um, again, I'm wondering if they, that was a remnant from another script. Uh, they just ate him. And Jeff had a whole <laughs> arc, and then like he's going to heroically sacrifice himself. And it's like, we can keep like the first line. <laughs> oh, God. So... I mean, at least we could say Michael Sheen was fun. Yeah, Michael <laughs> Sheen did chew the fuck out of the scenery throughout the whole movie. I, he clearly knows he's in a kid's movie. He's not trying to be wondrous or anything. He's just a crotchety, cantankerous rival to, to Dr. Doolittle. And he, the joke is that he has no chin in that way that there are jokes in movies like this where they make fun of a physical trait of a character, but the ha actor they got to play him doesn't have that trait at all. Yeah. So it's just a weird joke. Um... Which makes me wonder Especially, who had in mind for this, but right. that part, yeah. Especially when later on there's a whale who's waving at him, and he's like, Haha, he has no idea, I'm flipping him off. That man has no chin. What? Re weirdly judgmental whale. Look, we, just, <laughs> we just looked at each other like, I, I guess. Like, just, there were a lot of points where we just exchanged looks of... Like, like are whales just really gossipy? Is that what they do all day? Oh, uh, they're just spiteful. But like, no, like, they all love Doolittle. They all love Doolittle. Anytime course. Doolittle needs assistance from everybody. Like the moment the movie starts, he's getting dressed by forest animals and shit, like Cinderella. I was like the part <coughs> that made me laugh when he said like, uh, but, like are these animals yours? And he goes, like, the animals belong to nobody. No, like, no I don't you, own like, anybody. Like you literally dress up mice as chess pieces and force them to play your game. Well, that's <laughs> voluntary. They oh, want to play. Oh, okay, okay. Um, th it's it's this sure. weird. It's this. It's weird, man. It just doesn't make sense. But it's it's just a pointless plot. I'm not even gonna go into recounting the whole thing. Because it's meandering, it's, it's bland, it's pointless. It's that. it's just MacGuffin to MacGuffin, and the the real journey is the friends we made along the way, and yeah, it's yeah, all about the yeah. jokes between the things, and none of them are good except for the ones I just read. And and there's you a can lot watch of, plenty other reviews out there that go into the details of this. And, and there's a lot of wait, is that? And then you look it up, son of a bitch, it is. Like, yeah. Oh look, like. Is that Ray Fiennes? Uh, Ralph. Ralph Fiennes, sorry. Um, see, Ralph see, Fiennes? See, Ralph. I call him Fiennes. Uh, Whatever. Uh, I, 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 I'm glad we sat down in the row where there was nobody instead of sitting next to the people who were actually enjoying it because <laughs> they're lost. Um, but I, So we were in a row where we had proper installation and I was able to like pull up my phone and look up shit <laughs> many times in this movie where we like, were like, oh no, this person got paid. It's like, oh, look, it's Will Arnett. When then again, Will Arnett did dog was a dog show. So oh god, the one with the weird like rape joke. The one that got yeah. taken out of theaters to take out the rape joke. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, still like half there, so it's just a really weird cut yeah, in the middle of it. You know, <laughs> Hollywood. 
Nobody watching or editing this movie thought, wait a minute, this is probably not a good thing to put in a kid's movie. Not like anybody saw it. Not... Like, nobody gave a shit about Dog Show until that controversy came up anyway. Well, yeah, <laughs> but beyond that, it's like it just feeds the fuel to crazy Alex Jones type people who are like, Hollywood is just grooming, you know, kids to be, be you know, preyed upon. They're full of pedophiles. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's training them to go to their happy place so they can touch the kids, you know, just, just, just Obama and f gay frogs. And, like, <laughs> I forgot about the gay frogs. <laughs> oh, I never forgot. Uh, there's so many good fucking edits of Alex Jones being a fucking crazy bastard. What is that? What is that crazy bastard doing these days, anyway? Um, paying his court bills <laughs> <laughs> to the Sandy Hook victims' parents. Sometimes karma him. is a great thing. Fuck him. His his new karma site, does work sometimes. His new site is, site is still going strong, but most recently, the most attention it's gotten is that stupid gun girl, the the girl who went to campus with like her fucking gun oh, to be like, yeah. I have a right to my second amendment. And it's like, bitch, you're at a school. There's school shootings. Don't do this. <laughs> and she's like, it's fine because I'm white and I'm blonde. And so. Oh, is that the one <clears throat> like, it's like the crazy like Republican lady. And she's like, been going around, she's been going around interviewing people at college campuses. <laughs> yeah. And, the, and being really bad at it and getting owned left and right. <laughs> yeah. And, I uh, see some of those clips. So it's like, it's oh, great. My God. But my favorite is that apparently in the past couple days, she was at a party and she shit herself yeah I so now that's that just too. becoming a meme so alex jones is doing fine um paul joseph watson is still ranting about the effects of soy while selling his pills that have soy in them which um, just goes to show guys <laughs> deplatforming platforming fucking works it does it and does I, and I hate those motherfuckers who go like well freedom of speech you're like you can do a you who decides you want. who decides what what's what's factual well i don't know maybe, uh, the youtube policy that they should fucking enforce maybe um, you know may well granted there's a lot of issues with the youtube policy like how they take down legitimate things that are trying to teach about these things mm -hmm, but yeah. regardless of that um just the whole idea that we should let Alex Jones speak when he's doing clear harm, not just to this country, but the way that he affects people's minds and the way that he has actually caused harassment and violence against people who have gone through tragedies. Um, yeah, no, fuck that guy. Just, yeah, and I kind of wish yeah, I don't do think it's, more people that actively and provably have done harm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it sets a precedent to try to shut his ass down. Like Ben um, Shapiro is what I'm what I'm waiting for. Ben Shapiro needs to go down. So does Steven Crowder. Steve, like, oh God, Crowder can go fuck off. Those fuckers are actively racist, fucking gross ass bullies, um, who are genuine idiots. Oh yeah. And, you know they I. I don't, they, they can't work in the marketplace of ideas because they can't really defend themselves unless they're talking to college students that they can talk over and basically bully into, yep. <laughs> yeah. like, conceding, or if they're just talking to themselves and their friends for three hours straight. So, <laughs> fuck yourselves, I don't care. <laughs> um, it's like, I think it was on one comedy sketch I saw where it's like, uh, it seems like, uh, like, just stop, like, like. Shout out the Nazi. But you gotta like beat on the marketplace ideas. Like, where is that? Mordor? Narnia? <laughs> where the fuck is the marketplace of ideas? About, I don't see them there. No, here, here's here's my one thing. It's like, hey, um, who gets to decide when something is, you know, should be banned? And I'm like, well, if it has roots in genocide. That's a pretty good one. Maybe yeah. maybe don't discuss it. And people will bring up socialism, completely forgetting that that's not what socialism is. <laughs> yeah. um, but anyway. <laughs> Massive tangent aside. Doolittle's bad. <laughs> I don't, this is one of those weird reviews where we just talk about literally anything else. My mind is so gone, movie. dude. Like, I am so just... <laughs> I, I would happily talk about all four of the other movies I saw because I'm not going to take up that much time tomorrow with, like, describing how each one went over, but, like, I really... You're not going to catch up more <clears throat> bad movies tomorrow? No, I don't have time. I'm... <laughs> I gotta focus on work, and today was bad enough. Um, <laughs> you don't want to watch Glass? I mean, Glass. I still worked, but no, I need to watch Unbreakable and Split first, but... Split's actually good. Here's the thing. I don't have time to go into how much I hated Aladdin. <laughs> I know. You have no idea. I, you have no okay. idea. The, 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 the <laughs> colorful outfits, the way that it was like, like, it's, look, I know that the palace kind of looks like the Taj Mahal, okay? But outside of that, 
Aladdin has never struck me as an Indian story. So it's directed by a British guy and just suddenly breaks into Bollywood dances at times and then does beatboxing and breakdancing because, I don't know... Because I was watching it and I was like, why is this here? This doesn't... ADHD Will Smith does not work. No, it does not. It's painful. Um, he's okay when he's not doing ADHD. No, he was pretty decent in some parts of the movie, but then, like, he just kind of wasn't for most of it. And I feel like when they did the CG blue him, they CG'd his face entirely. Like, it wasn't just some color tint. Like, they actually just made a CG Will Smith face and had it move with mocap or whatever. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I don't know, but... Uncanny Valley Terror. I, I, I don't know. It's... Should we talk about the dragon? Enough people have talked about the dragon. But Although I will say, about the dragon. <laughs> RDJ's pretty smooth. That's the fastest I've seen anyone talk like a very strong-willed woman into butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I've met uh, you two minutes ago. I think there's something in your ass. Let me get it for you. Fine, get it over with, which is the kind of enthusiastic consent you want. <laughs> and then, you know... I mean, it's the only enthusiastic consent got, most guys need. <laughs> uh, um, and it's like, it was weird. Like, I do just want to talk about it for a second because the way it was set up and the way, it, like, the payoff actually works is so... has so many tones all going at once. On one hand, yeah. it, it wants to be this emotional, like payoff because he's realizing like I can relate to this dragon because they've also lost someone that I that <laughs> cared about and I'm coming to terms with my wife's death in this moment. Now I'm going to shove my hand up your ass. Pull out a bunch of things including bagpipes. <laughs> and, and with bagpipes. It's got that tone. It's got and unleash the, the biggest fart that I've ever seen in a movie, man. It's pretty and, amazing. And at it's, least it's at the same Destiny. time. And then it's got like the, the, the payoff like to adventure music. Like they just discovered the treasure as all the animals are holding the, the dragon's, dragon's butt. down. In and the it's dragon's butt. And then it's just an extended fart joke for however long it goes on for. It's the climax of the movie. It's the climax of the movie. The climax and of the movie like, is the dragon releasing a massive prolonged fart. Uh, <laughs> and apparently it has, according to them, the entire Spanish armada. <laughs> And, of course, bagpipes, which... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, it's just... It's not good. It's very forgettable. A lot of... Oh! My, my berry berries. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> uh, like, again... I will say, I did, I did get moments of joy when I knew things were coming that he did not, and I... I, I that... I, I enjoyed those. Yeah, there's a tiger named Barry, paled by Ref... Fienzi. Ralph yeah, Ralph Fiennes. <laughs> Ralphins. Ralphins. Ralphinus. Get your ruffians out of my tiger. <laughs> uh, so they the and the 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 and the, the name's the, Barry the, and apparently the gorilla the, the, the tiger has mommy issues kicks him in the balls. Yeah, and then he goes and collapses oh. and goes ow my berry berries. And I think Academy Award winning actor <laughs> Ralph Fienzi BB. He should have just kept gardening. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the funnier tweets I saw recently was someone just put like a cutout, not even the title, just the cutout of him from that poster. And it said, it's 2020, this motherfucker's still gardening. And I'm like, ah, ha, 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 ha. That was, that I was get funny. it because it's constant. Um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I am, it, it feels like when Mo they got Morgan Freeman to do the Lego movie and it like the, his entire script felt like, what kind of weird shit can we get Morgan Freeman to say? <laughs> <laughs> but the Lego movie was so good. It was, but it's I feel so like it's like mentality of like, I bet you twenty dollars I can get Morgan Freeman to go, ooh. <laughs> ooh. It's like, no, you cannot, you lying bastard. <laughs> and he did. And he did. Uh and Will Arnett, man, I get that one like, man, he's such a good actor. He deserve he did not he, he's better than this shit now. I mean, he is, but I also think he's... The thing is, whatever cheap fucking paychecks that he can get 
where it's just a bunch of money for something really stupid and fast, he can keep investing his time into really cool fucking weird ass indie projects. And this I'm is all true. for that. This is true. That's Maybe this will give Robert Downey Jr. enough money to not do anything like this for years Hopefully. and he'll go back to doing cool fucking weird little movies like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Like, that'd be cool. I'd enjoy that. Go back to his indie roots? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be super cool. But I can't imagine that he needed money coming out of this after being fucking Iron Man because those royalties are still coming. Endgame was less than a year ago. Endgame was less than a year ago. Well, apparently, it made billions. Well, like, apparently, he made this while he was still doing Avengers stuff. Like, it's been sitting on a shelf for a couple years. Hmm. Um, so still, it's uh, one of those. I guess that's they just dumped it out there just to get it out of the fucking way. But why? Why did? What was the point? Did he need something a little more lighthearted than? You know, and probably sounded good when the when, like, when the first script came around. Maybe. You know? Because he said the script, the, like one of the screenwriters is like a really good screenwriter. My favorite line of his in this movie was when he stared the dragon in the face and said, "I am all the Jedi." And <laughs> <laughs> and then at the very end of the movie, the queen goes, "What's your name, <laughs> Doctor Doolittle? Doctor Doolittle, who?" Doctor Doolittle Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at the draft and looks back and says, "Doctor Do Doolittle Mall." <laughs> You know what was it? There was, there was. Oh man, I love there. There's so many good jokes on Twitter about this shit, and like, there's one where it's like, "What's your name?" And she looks, looks at him, looks at the ghosts, looks back at spouses. Ray Star Wars, and back in the background, <laughs> it's Luke's ghost just going, "Ray, no." <laughs> Ray, Luke, and Leia, no, Ray. <laughs> God damn it, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I. Are we done? I think yeah, we're, we're done. done. We're done. done. This we got has nothing been a else. Pointless review. <laughs> Just like the movie. Just rambling. Pointless, Just... meandering, jumping from random topic to random topic. The, it, from a scale of one to ten in in sounds of reaction, I give this a profound. <sighs> I mean, I, I'm dragging Howard to go see, uh, like, a boss on Sunday, so we'll see if that's worse. Potentially. Potentially more painful. At least the gentleman comes out this week. Oh, thank God. That's something to look forward to. Better fucking make up for Aladdin, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm happy to see Garrett doing what he actually wants to do again. Yeah, no, it's been a while. Even though I'd be like one of the five people that actually liked King Arthur in like an ironic way. Really? <laughs> yeah. I still haven't seen it. I thought you did. No, we talked about it after Robin Hood. Okay, because I, I thought you Which did. Which I had seen three times. I thought you, I because I thought you saw it. Maybe it was like Ghost Rider 2 I'm thinking um, of. Or like you saw maybe. it and then you text me going, what the fuck, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was Ghost, I, I, I didn't even finish Ghost Rider 2. I fell asleep for half the movie. Like, <laughs> Damn. <I> just, oh. <laughs> um... But yeah, things coming up. The best, worst of tomorrow. Yep, and then like next week is catch up on a lot of shit like Bad Boys and yep. Underwater if there's time. Ugh. And like a boss on Sunday. Underwater is another movie that just strikes me as it'll be like. Eh. I've heard it's good. I've heard like fine for what it is. Um, fine is not what I look for in a movie. Fair enough. Fine is like, eh, it's okay. I'm not looking for eh, it's okay. I'm looking for oh, that was interesting, or oh, that was a great time, or holy shit, that was bad. <laughs> like, this isn't even holy shit, that was bad. This was like... Forgettable. The most surprising thing about this is how utterly joyless it is. It's completely forgettable. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's... That's, that's, <laughs> that's about it. We'll be back tomorrow for the best and worst list. Well, we'll record it tomorrow, then I'd say that depends how long it takes me to edit the goddamn thing. Um, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, me too. It's late. Like Good night. and subscribe. Good night.